Hey boys, welcome back to some more Don Brown and Cricket 17 player, player, what should we call it? Someone, someone give me like a suggestion what to call it. Every time I make these videos, I'm like, I'm trying to just come up with it on the fly. Um, but we're going to have a look at the, uh, the South African skipper here, Faf Duplessis, uh, and a very, very good likeness. This is one of the best ones I've seen. This is, uh, this is from the user, user, user Raj. Uh, he's one of the top top blokes who make these likenesses. It's uh, it's incredible stuff. Like some of the guys are just they're so talented. It, it seems like such a waste. It, you know, they're just they're just making this uh this hard work for for a game that they like. I mean, it's not it's not like it's wasted. You know, they enjoy it and people who play the game enjoy it. But it's like, damn, you'd think they could like get a job actually designing uh, stuff for games and getting paid for it but you know that's that's besides the point we're not going to talk too much about but that that's that shot before i actually timed it i actually don't know if that if the scoop i did if that went straight up in the air or it actually went like back a fair way the camera unfortunately doesn't track those ones to go behind the stumps which is slightly annoying but i felt like i got that one pretty good even though the timing wasn't perfect um but yeah so i'm making this video it's uh it's during the uh, the third test between South Africa and Australia, and I was actually, I had intentions on doing like, going after each test match or during the test matches, you know, giving my opinions on what's going on and just a bit of a rundown, talking about different plays, but I sort of, I was planning on doing it, but I'm pretty sure just at the time I was going to, I was just sort of busy, and it, didn't get around to doing it and just sort of went by the wayside. I'm not going to talk too much about the uh, the games so far, but we'll talk a little bit. And pretty much what you got to say is just pretty disappointing by Australia, really. You know, I mean, it's a, it's a weird one. Like the the first has much could have gone so much differently. Just <clears throat> to to get South Africa out pretty cheaply, and then to be none for 150 whatever it was. Just those collapses, dude. But like I said, I'm not going to go through those games. But something I guess I will mention is the uh, the debutants. So the debutants, obviously, for this game, it's uh it sort of got me excited again. I sort of like I still love cricket and um I still watched you know as much as I could of the games. But I sort of like I wasn't invested as much as I usually am with the uh, with the team. I just I don't know, just the team wasn't really exciting me too much. I liked our bowlers, but our batters are a lot to be left desired. But with uh, with the introduction of these three three debutants, it's got me really excited for the team again. Although you know they didn't <laughs> they didn't do that amazing, um, but it's got me excited. So the first one, uh, Matty Renshaw, young Queenslander, of course, got to get a get around him, got to love it. Um, but yeah, twenty years old. He, he had to get picked, really. Like, he was one of the guys they were looking at, and he, he went and got, like, a big score in the shield. And he looks solid. I mean, unfortunately, I'm, uh, I'm, like I said, this is during the third test match, only after the Australians' first innings. Um, so, he hasn't batted his second time. He got, might go really good. He might go terribly. I'm not too sure. Um, but, obviously, he only made, what did he make? Ten runs in the first innings. But, you know, he got through that really tough period, and he looked solid. Like, watching him bat, it looked, it looked very promising. Like, he, he is a big dude. Like, I, I didn't realize, like, how, how big he was, but he's a, he's a big guy, 20 years old. He just, he looks solid, um, whether or not he, he really goes forward, but they have to give him, you know, they have to stick with him for a fair while, I would, I would imagine. It'd be a little ridiculous if he, let's say he fails in the second innings, if they if they drop him, can you imagine that shit? If they if they dropped him, but yeah, he looks solid. I am um, I'm uh, I'm pretty hopeful about that. I was I was happy that he got picked. I, I think he deserved it, even though you know very new to the scene. Uh, the next one, Peter Hanscom. He uh obviously he went pretty good. I uh the one thing is I did notice like a lot of people were talking about it, but I noticed during the game without anyone saying it. And I'm sure most people did, is the, the movements, man, like, he looked, like, the one thing you got to say is he is a very good, very good batter against spin. He looks, 
you know, he reminds me of, you know, Michael Clark or Steve Smith. Just uses his feet and uh, can attack the spinners. Very good batter of spin, which is, which is nice because generally the Australian team, they have one or two good batters, but a lot of their their batters just favor the pace. It, it seems like Hanscom, his weakness is the pace. I'm not exactly sure. Like, I haven't seen much of him in, like, shield cricket, but, the like, he always, he's got that, like, he doesn't really come forward. Like, he's got that, like, back and across movement, and, you know, the ball that got him out, even if he came forward to that, you know, potentially it probably would have still bowled him in, like, came back a lot, but... Those sorts of deliveries, as I, that pulled a ricochet off the stump, dude. Um, but those sort of deliveries, like, if you're playing back and, you know, just shuffling across like that, if the ball moves at all, you're in a lot of trouble. That's where, you know, his um, his technique will get worked over. He made a, a good 50. Like, it was, it was a good solid 50. I was, I was very impressed. But, you know, if he continues with that sort of, like, movement... Teams will teams will sort him out, and he'll have to have to adjust. Um, but yeah, he had to get picked as well. I was very happy for that. But then the last one, Nick Madison. I'm still undecided on. Like, I don't think Nick Madison really deserved to be picked, but I'm sort of I'm glad he's there because he's someone that could potentially turn a game. I mean, again, <laughs> he came out at a terrible time, dude. He gets a duck. Um, he came out the new ball. Yeah, it was night time. The ball was doing a lot. He got a pretty decent delivery. And uh, it's a tough time to come in, man. It was... <laughs> it's pretty rough. But I'm... Uh, you know, all these three guys, they have to stick with them for a fair while. And I'm, I'm excited to see just how they go with um, with some matches under their bel belt. And, you know, playing in, playing in good conditions, playing in bad conditions. We'll see. We'll see what, what holds for Australia. I'm, I'm excited. I'm actually excited for the future. But... Yeah, that's going to wrap this video up, talking a little bit about the uh, debutants here. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy. Look forward to more Don Bradman cricket videos that come, and I'll see you guys next time.